Citizens of St. Martin, as we say goodbye to 2021 and welcome 2022, a year of hope and continued progress, we acknowledge that it has been a year of many lessons, opportunities for growth, despair and hope, challenges and progress. And this on the heels of a year where the world stood still for the virus known as SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19. In 2021, we progressed with much more understanding of what we were dealing with and some experience on the more effective healthcare protocols to protect our people. As a result, we have adjusted to our new normal, one in which we wash our hands more often, we sanitize more frequently, we wear masks to protect ourselves and others, and vaccinate to build herd immunity and minimize the possibility of the variants negatively affecting us. The world's latest variant, Omicron, though apparently milder in its presentation, has proven to be more contagious and easily spread. As a result, we have adjusted our protocols once more, and I pray we are able to maintain a low hospitalization count while promoting the vaccines and boosters to be able to ensure the safety of all our people and that of our economy and our families' livelihood so that it remains sustainable and resilient. I take this time to extend deepest condolences to all who have lost loved ones during 2021, those who are still hurting at this time and are overwhelmed by the realities of life. I encourage you to stay strong, remain faithful and filled with hope and gratitude, taking it one day at a time. Our thoughts and prayers are with you and your families as you mourn the loss of your loved ones. 2021 has indeed brought great awareness of the realities of life. It has highlighted the importance of family time, of safeguarding our mental health, of the need to protect our most vulnerable groups, especially women and children. It has helped us to reaffirm our faith in God and in our own capacity to make change in our lives and the lives of others through the power of thought. Despite the serious challenges that we faced, including lack of capacity and financing, the government of St. Martin has made significant advancements over the past year, thanks to the commitment and hard work of our civil servants, collaboration with key stakeholders such as SMDF, NRPB, VNGI, our High Councils, and of course, our His Excellency the Governor, and thanks to access to funding and technical assistance via the EU, Resembid, and other funding agencies. We have seen progress in many areas of reconstruction projects approved by government under the NRPB. As executing agency, which was implemented after Hurricane Irma to build back a stronger, more resilient St. Martin. Many of these projects were carried out on behalf and in collaboration with government during 2021 and will continue into 2022 and beyond. I will highlight a few. Government has embarked on the Digital Government Transformation Project to enhance the efficiency of delivery and access to selected public services for our citizens and businesses, as well as for the resiliency of our government systems during disasters. This project began this year with the Ministry of General Affairs, whereby Civil Registry has been able to take seven of its services online. Kudos to them. The general public is able to now request services via an online request form and diminish the crowd in front of the building. This ministry was and remains instrumental in the implementation of the country package of reforms, working on legislation and policies while supporting all other ministries in the area of ICT, personnel and organization, legal affairs and legislation, facilities management and disaster risk management. We have focused on building relationships with key partners and seeking to collaborate as much as possible within the region and the kingdom with the support of the cabinet of the plenipotentiary minister. We will continue to seek solutions to enhance training and the hiring of key personnel to build our capacity and enhance the service we give to the people. During 2021, our Ministry of Finance continued on its course with the St. Martin Stimulus and Relief Plan, whereby businesses and unemployed persons financially affected by COVID-19 
were assisted with funds needed to survive. An initiative from this ministry that must be commended is the Learn Smart program in collaboration with the SMDF, whereby the public has been offered the opportunity to enhance their skills or acquire new skills via free Coursera courses, which continue in 2022. Make use of that opportunity. The ministry has enabled online payments and a few services, including the 2022 vehicle road tax and plans to establish QR codes to abolish yearly purchase of license plates. The ministry continues to aim for the creation of data-driven policies. This is also the first time in history that a Minister of Justice of St. Martin has traveled to the Netherlands to form working relations with our European counterparts in order to strengthen our justice chain. After 11 years as a country, the Ministry of Justice has successfully completed and established the function book for the personnel of the departments within the ministry, all within this year. The ministry has also implemented its parking policy for Phillipsburg City Center and continues to bring awareness about domestic and gender-based violence, including support for victims of certain crimes. The Ministry of Education, Culture, Youth and Sport continues to provide financial support for a number of our students to obtain tertiary education right here on St. Martin as well as abroad, as we take into account the current and future occupational needs of St. Martin. With the assistance of the Trust Fund, three schools have been fully repaired and 16 are remaining to be done during this 2022. Sports facilities are also up and running and we can see that by the busyness we see all around the island. That is expected that further repairs will take place in 2022 with the extension of the ERP-1 of the Trust Fund. The Ministry of Romy has also tackled the implementation of several policies to enhance transparency of its services to the public. The Ministry has been working on the development of policies for tendering as well as land issuance policy, which has been lacking for many, many years. In a bid to best serve the people of St. Martin, these policies will be implemented as soon as possible. The Ministry of Romy will also be embarking on emergency road repairs as of early next week, beginning with Front Street. In 2022, a more long-term solution will be implemented, including installing a drainage system to avoid the deformation of the bricks in the future. Also in 2022, via the Trust Fund, plans for long-term solid waste management will start to take shape, as well as works to start to put the remaining parts of the electrical grid underground. Also, 64 social homes will be repaired under the St. Martin Housing Development Foundation, and funding has been secured to add to the housing market. Our Minister of Public Health, Labor and Social Development continues to work with our Kingdom partners via public health consultations to ensure best protocols are being implemented to safeguard all our health. The Ministry, and in particular, Collective Prevention Services, CPS, together with the vaccination management team, have been able to continually provide COVID-19 tests free of charge for persons with symptoms of the virus and have been able to score a vaccination rate of 43% for St. Martin. Vaccinations, including booster shots, will continue to be promoted into 2022 and health protocols will continue to be highly enforced. On the labor, the ministry continues to collaborate with the tripartite, promoting local hiring for new projects and job fairs and training programs to further assist persons seeking employment. Under the Trust Fund, 11 hurricane shelters stand ready to provide safe refuge in times of emergency, with management plans at the ready prepared by the ministry. The SMDF, in collaboration with the Dutch Red Cross, has also completed recreational community spaces in several districts, which promote health as well as community involvement in the management of these spaces. Our Ministry of Tourism, Economic Affairs, Traffic and Telecommunication has been very iconic in aiding the restart of the cruise industry in the region. St. Martin being the first country to not only restart cruise, but also embark on home porting via our prestigious Port St. Martin with MSC Cruise Lines. This has truly given our economy the needed boost to get back to our pre-Airman numbers, 
As such, we continue to delve into ways in which we are able to diversify our economy via microfinancing of loans under the ESP program of the Trust Fund. Some 100 small business owners, local business owners, are able to grow, thrive, and succeed, all while receiving valuable hands-on support from the ESP team, promoting local business and entrepreneurship, and the exploration of our agriculture market. The ministry has also laid the framework for the development of the St. Martin Tourist Authority and will continue to work towards sustainable approach within the business entry structure by facilitating online business applications. Cruise and air tourism are bouncing back. We are proud. And with the numbers looking positive in the high season and opportunities for greater diversification of our tourism product, St. Martin was awarded the Sea Trade We Are Back Award in 2021, representing our commitment to the industry and a realization of the path toward that St. Martin will be taking as a leading destination once again. Our airport terminal reconstruction project is also underway since October 21 and will continue through to 2023. This will continue to boost our economy, give our artists an opportunity to make a living and truly be passionate about what they're doing we continue to promote St. Martin made products and services. Hope and progress remain at the forefront of our attitude and work ethic as we close 2021 and welcome 2022. We do so in gratitude and the blessings bestowed on St. Martin for while the world was hit by the reality of COVID-19, we must acknowledge the opportunities afforded to us to regroup, fast track and make St. Martin more resilient while creating opportunities for our citizens to survive and thrive. We are grateful for the opportunities for continued education, lifelong learning, commitment to improve our services by going digital in a number of areas and bringing more checks and balances to our day-to-day -day operations while focusing on being more efficient and effective as a government. As your government of St. Martin, we have been at the table with our kingdom partners seeking for fair and equitable treatment for St. Martin and other countries within the kingdom. We will continue to do so in 2022. And even as we define more and more for ourselves, who we are, where we want to be, and what we are prepared to do in the short, medium, and long term, as we prepare for the future we must design for ourselves. Our focus is on building a nation of strong, self-sufficient people by improving the quality of life, improving opportunities for progress for each citizen by creating opportunities, nurturing that self-pride and pride and love of St. Martin, promoting culture and community involvement. It will take all of us working together and I challenge each and every one of us to do so in 2022 and beyond. A blessed and merry, happy, 2022 to each and every citizen of St. Martin. May God bless you and bless St. Martin always.